I know exactly how you're feeling right now. Nervous, right? With midterm right around the corner. Today, we're going to be doing a rapid revision for the very system responsible for this feeling. Good evening, guys, and welcome to Thought Well by Academy. I am Rinalda, and I am going to be helping you all with rapid revision for biology in the days to come. So let's get started. So speaking of the nervous system, let's first try to refresh our memory on what is the need for the nervous system. It helps us be aware of our surroundings. It keeps us informed of the outside world through our sense organs. Those are our five sense organs, which is our skin, our eyes, our nose, our mouth, and our ears. It enables remembering, thinking, and reasoning. It controls and coordinates voluntary muscle activities, example, running. And it regulates involuntary actions like breathing and your heart beating, right? So y'all can get this as a four marker question. So do remember these four points. And next, before we go into the next part of our revision, I just want to refresh your memory on this one thing. The nervous system comprises of four main parts, which are the brain, the spinal cord, the sense receptors and nerves, right? So now the brain and the spinal cord is made up of these cells called neurons. Or you also call them nerve cells. And coming up is a diagram of that which I'm going to show you all how to label. These endings would be the dendrites. And this is the main part which is of course the nucleus. And guys, like around the nu nucleus, you have these uh, dots. What can I choose for dots? Huh? You have these dots over here, okay, like around the nucleus. Um, you have these dots around the nucleus. They are actually granules. And they are called... They are called the nissel granules. They are called the nissel granules. Moving on, here you have the axon that extends to go on till there. And this space that you see in which the nissel granules are, this space over here is called is called the cyton it is also called the pericarion okay so this is like the topmost part of the neuron and then over here, you this yellow thing is called the myelin sheath. This yellow thing is called the myelin sheath that serves as a protection to the, to the axon of the neuron. And around this myelin sheath, you also sometimes find a very thin layer of a membrane like structure that is called the neuri the neural lemma
both these serve as protection right these over here are called the axon terminals and and this gap between the myelin sheaths are called the node of ranveer don't expect deepika padukone to be that lame lame i know i know um okay so moving on and we are going to be talking about the transmission of a nerve impulse again refreshing your memory this is the resting condition of a nerve fiber where you have the positive charges on the outside of the nerve fiber right and you have the negative charges on the inside of the nerve fiber okay this is mainly because of the sodium ions that are present but when it is stimulated where is the color ha huh. when a nerve fiber is stimulated it becomes the opposite with the positive ions on the inside of the nerve fiber and the negative ions on the outside of the nerve fiber yeah but they do go back to the resting condition so again moving on synapse so in a synapse i'm pretty sure you all already know what synapse is synapse is nothing but the point of contact between the axon terminals of one neuron and the dendrites of another neuron mind you these are two separate neurons okay so this is what you call a synapse surprisingly guys for the neural impulse to get transferred they don't have to come in contact the neural impulse jumps cool right uh types of neurons there are three main types of neurons which is the sensory neuron that conveys impulses from the sense organ like my skin if i touch something hot that message is going to go to my nervous system that's the brain and the spinal cord through the sensory neurons and we have the motor neurons that send neural impulses from the main nervous system to the effector that is the muscle or the gland okay and then we have the association that's the connecting neurons that serves as an interconnection between the sensory neurons and the motor neurons yeah so three types of neurons that's the sensory neurons the motor neurons and the association neurons moving on nerves what are nerves you can always relate these to like a cable wire right so nerves are nothing but a bundle of nerve fibers that are in capsulated or enclosed within a tubular sheet right mind you it is not the myelin sheet so this is what it would look like this is what a nerve from this angle would look like okay moving on so nerves are basically this very thin white thread like structures that emerge from your brain and spinal cord and are spread branched out throughout your body okay so yeah nerves again like the neurons the different types of neurons nerves again are of three types very similar okay that's the sensory nerves are of three types very similar okay that's the sensory nerves they contain only sensory fibers they bring impulses from the receptors receptors are nothing but the sense organs to the brain and spinal cord example your optic nerve i hope all of you all know that when you say optic it automatically relates to your eye and next we have the motor neurons they contain only motor fibers and they carry impulses from the brain and spinal cord to the effector organs that is our muscles or our glands bringing them into action all right and then we have mixed nerves mind you when it comes to the three types of neurons they are the sensory neurons the motor neurons and the association neurons but then when it comes to nerves many of you all get confused do not get confused guys the third and last one for neurons is association neuron and for nerves is mixed nerves okay do not confuse yourselves with both of these keep this in mind so the third 
type of nerve after the sensory and the motor nerve is the mixed nerve. They contain both the sensory nerves and the motor nerves. An example of that would be the spinal nerve. And with that, we come to the end of part one of our rapid revision on the nervous system. Stay tuned for the second part. Let's crack it.